Hey, hey developers, today we're gonna look at a new course. It's called Python Django Dev to Deployment, and it was created by fellow YouTuber Brad Traversy. So it has a ton of content, over 11 hours of content on Django, and I'm gonna talk to you about it and show you what it's all about. Hey, and if you don't know, my name is Eric. I'm a software developer. I have several years of software development experience. I'm also the author of the Vue.js in Action book. So if you're interested in any of that, there's a bunch of links below. And in fact, during this whole video, if you guys want to go ahead and buy this, this is actually the perfect time to buy Udemy courses because they have a ton of, of $9.99, $10 sales, $12 sales all through the month of November. And I think this is the great time to buy just anything that you want technology wise because you know Black Friday is coming up and there's just tons of deals everywhere and, and Udemy is no different so if you guys are interested in this course I put a link down below it's my affiliate link I get a few bucks if you buy if you buy from it using that link but what's great about it is you actually help Brad which is an amazing YouTuber he has some great content if you don't know Brad uh, you can see his, his YouTube cha channel Traversy Media um, he's been doing this for years and years and years, and he has some really free content. So if you want to help him out and also help me out, make sure you click that that link below, that affiliate link, and buy the course. And like I said, there's some amazing deals. You can get this whole course for like 12 bucks. It's well worth it. So um, if you don't know, like I said, Brad is a, a YouTuber, but he also does tons and tons of tutorials. He has tons of free tutorials, and he has a number of courses. So in this course... Uh, he skills it as an intermediate level. It's, he's already had a few thousand students go through it. It's over 70 lectures and 11 hours long. You, um, you really, to, to do this, he has a couple of videos at the beginning where he says, really, you just need to know have some, have some basic HTML, CSS. You really don't need to know much. He actually gives you a bootstrap theme that you can kind of plug into this project so you don't have to write a bunch of HTML and CSS, but it's good to know some, some of it. Um, what you really should know is um, a little bit of Python, although he has a whole segment on Python. So if you don't know anything about Python, this is a great way to start too. So you can see, you can see here what you'll learn, basic Python, virtual environments, configuring Django, creating Django apps. He actually has you um, connect to a Postgres database where you create a schema and do a little bit of relationships there. So if you wanna learn about relational databases, you kind of get a, a touch of that in this course as well. Um, you, Like I said, learn Python as core fundamental syntax, build real estate applications. So the, the way Brad teaches in many of his courses is he teaches it, it as, um, instead of traditional like uh, PowerPoint and just kind of going over the different, like almost like taking the official guides and and then putting them in PowerPoint and, and explaining small topics. What he usually has is is he has like a code along with a whole with a whole project. It's kind of a project based tutorial. And in this project, you're creating this real estate application with Django and Postgres and using Django's templates, which which is called Jinja. And so you're actually creating this template, you're plugging it into your HTML, it's talking to your Python, you're interacting with it, you're not doing this RESTful service, although you probably could by taking this course as well, but you're really learning all the fundamentals of how to get a Django project up and running. So let's take a look at the different modules that it comes with. So we have the course content here, and I can't really show you the videos, course of copyrights, so I can just kind of give you a brief overview of what it is. Um, you can see here he has lots of uh, Q&A here. He usually keeps up with those. He has announcements. He's This course came out about four weeks ago, and he announced it on his channel. And I just, uh, just got time to start uh, looking at it. Now, if you're new to web development or you're a web developer and you're looking for that first back-end language to learn, I think Django is a great, great way to go. Usually there's three languages of, or frameworks, these are languages that you want to look at and forces Python, Ruby, and uh, JavaScript. So in the Python world, there's Django or Flask. Django, is, I think, is a little bit easier to start off with, and that's what this course is all about. If you're in the Ruby world, there's Ruby on Rails, which is still really popular. And then if you're in the JavaScript world, then you can learn something like Node, um, and there's some frameworks like uh, Express, 
and some middleware there where you can create your backend that way. And there's quite a few. There's Koa and there's a bunch of others. Now, each one of them have their plus and minuses. Like, for example, if you go with something like Express, now you're writing your JavaScript in the front end and the back end. So if you're already familiar with JavaScript, that, that's a bonus. But really, Ruby and, and Python have so many really neat features to the language that makes it so super simple to get up and running really, really quickly. It's very uh, opinionated, and it has some, some neat features that Django is an excellent choice to learn when you're starting to learn the backend development. And this is a great course to do it. So the first part is just kind of the welcome to the course. He shows you the real estate site that you're going to build up front and talks about all the features. Now, this isn't just, OK, here's a real estate pay, here's a real estate site. We're going to show you different listings. He actually goes in and says, OK, we're going to create an admin console where you can add different properties. You can add different real estate agents. You can have a relationship between the real estate agents and which properties they have. You can actually make some real estate agents VIPs, which will show up on different parts of the, the Bootstrap page. They actually use this Bootstrap. Um, and then you can also have users log in, non-admin users log in, and then they can um, click on any real estate listing and save it if they're interested in it. So there's a lot to this app. This is not something just really basic. There's a lot of cool features, and this is going to deep dive into a lot of things. Uh, part two is the getting started. So he talks about just installing Python 3, some of the best practices installing on Mac or Windows. He talks about setting up a virtual environment too, which is kind of the preferred way of setting up Python. And then section three is also all for, if you've never used Python before, this talks about the fundamentals of like tuples and, and strings and functions and loops that you need to know with Python. What I've found with learning Python is it's really simple and really easy to get going right away because it's 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 very well written and uh, it's just makes a lot of sense. It's almost like at times, like you're just writing pseudocode almost. It feels like when you're writing Python because it's just so simple to work with. So you can take. So I would say you probably should have some Python experience before you take this course. But if you don't, no worries. You can take. Um, you can just spend a lot of time in section three and trying to get up and running. As he says, it, this is completely optional. You don't need to do this if you already have some Python experience. Section four goes directly into uh, creating res the resource requirements. Um, he, sh he gives you the, the bootstrap theme that you can use to start off with. And like I said, you don't need to know any CSS or HTML. It's good to know a little bit. He says you should know some of that, but he gives you the theme to kind of plug into the system, set up the virtual environment, like I said before, and starting installing Django, and then running the server. And then uh, he uh, the section five is all about like getting that bootstrap theme into your Django app and talks about how you do the template, the templating engine that I was talking about before. Uh, section six kind of touches on databases. So we install the Postgres database. We use PG, PG admin, the Postgres admin interface to go in. You can take a look at the tables, drop them, add them, and then we create an actual model. So uh, Brad creates uh, a whole schema he actually has a whole module on like this is what I think you know here's the three different tables here's the relationships between the different ones it's really helpful really useful and then he goes into how to create migrations that's a way you can kind of take your take basically models this is how the database is going to be structured and then you can actually implement it into your database Postgres database and you can actually roll that back in the future if you needed to but that way you have like a source of how the database is written. And then he goes into actually taking information from the database and displaying it. So now you have all your listings of all these houses, because remember this is a real estate app, and now you can connect it up to your Bootstrap front end. You can use for loops and using the, DJ, uh, the, the Django templates to actually loop through all the listings in your database and then display it to the user. Then he goes into authentication. And by the way, one thing Brad does really well in this course is, is he incrementally, when he's going through, this is by actually um, written in Visual Studio code. He actually uses that for his IDE. If he runs into a problem, he doesn't edit it out. He goes, hmm, this isn't working. And you could see him like, this is the steps he took to fix it. And I think that's really helpful because if you're a new developer, you're going to run into those same problems. And you could see how he kind of, figured out what the problem was and he fixed it 
and you can do the same. And now it doesn't happen too often, but he's honest. Like I'd rather keep these errors in and show you how I found out and figured out to fix them. So that way you can run into it. You'll probably run into these problems and do the same thing. And he also goes into like, sometimes he has ES lint errors or I guess it'd be Python lint errors in the console. And he tells you like how to get rid of them. So really like things you will run into as you go through the course, he's kind of on the spot there and said, oh, look, this is going to happen to you. Make sure you do this to fix it, which I really like. Goes into contact inquiries. This is where you can have like a non-admin user click on something on the real estate app and, and log in and submit a form. And then the last part is deployment. I kind of briefly looked at some of these, but it sounded like, uh, you know, how you push your code up to GitHub, how you use DigitalOcean to set up a Node uh, or Nginx server to run your Django app. I mean, pretty cool stuff to, to finish off the, the course. So overall, I was really impressed. You know, I've had, this is the first uh, course I've taken from Tra Traversy. So it's, you know, it's really well done. It's, it's well worth uh, grabbing, especially if it's on sale through Udemy. Like I said, make sure you click on that link below so you can get it for, uh, you know, like 10, 12, 13 bucks. It's, you know, well worth it for 11 hours of content. And like I said, this is a great starter, starter backend framework to learn. So if you're already interested in Python, this is a great thing to pick up. And I think Python is just, it's kind of blowing up. I think Ruby on Rails used to be the the number one backend framework everybody's looking for. A lot of jobs are hiring for it. And I think it's moved onto things like Django where, you know, Django has become super, super popular as well. And of course, there's always going to be the .NETs and, and the Javas and the enterprise stuff. Um, but for many, many startups, many, many places are using Django. Um, in fact, I was think I was listening to Patreon and their, their backend is Django. So, you know, it's, it's all over the place. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys like these type of videos where I, I quickly review Udemy courses, kind of riff for 10 minutes about one of them, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if there's a course you want me to review. Uh, maybe I can go in a little bit more in depth in the next one, maybe even pull out the projects and show you it. You know, I've been kind of experimenting what I want to do here. Um, I'm a big Udemy affiliate fan, so make sure if you guys like these courses, you just click on any of the links I have below and, and buy it. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.